Hello YouTube <clears throat> and welcome to um, another review video from me Steve and um, whilst my channel is mainly about vacuum cleaners I do occasionally do reviews of other household appliances that I own and uh, today I'm going to be doing a uh, short review on one of my microwave ovens um, which I've had for a couple of years now. I own two and um, I'm going to be doing the review on the one I've owned for the longest uh, which is this little model here. I will just bring the camera over and we'll have a look. This one is um, a very budget model that I bought from Curry's um, a couple of years ago and it's um, branded as a Kenwood and I think this one cost me about £60. I apologise for light under the counter there shining in the camera. Uh, now this machine um, was a second microwave that, uh, because I do a lot of cooking in microwaves, I, uh, I bought two machines. Now the main machine is this one over here which is a Panasonic. Uh, I'll be doing a review of that one in a separate uh, review. Um, but this one's like a secondary microwave for when I'm cooking meals and I need to be cooking them in two microwaves at the same time. So I do find it very useful for when I can't get everything in one microwave. For instance, if I'm going to cook a meal like this, let's say, um, which is like a ready meal, and I wanted to cook a jacket potato with that as well. Now I wanted to do them in two different microwaves, that one in the one microwave and that one in the other one. So I would put the potato in here. So this, this microwave was, uh, as I say, I was looking for a, 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 bit, a bit of a small one, just a budget one. Um, that would do as a secondary model and I was looking around Curry's and um, this one came up I, obviously I looked in Argos as well and uh, it's basically I just wanted a microwave with just the microwave function with no other functions to it so if I turn this round we can have a look at the model number on the back just uh, so that people know what it is we're actually looking at so this is if I just focus the camera up on it. It's a Kenwood microwave appliance and it's uh, model number K20 MSS10. This is a um, 750 to 800 watt uh, output. I think at maximum is 700 watts on there actually. And um, it's made in China, uh, which I struggle to find any microwaves now that aren't made in China, to be honest. I mean, the last one that I got rid of was an LG that I'd had for 11 years, and that was made in Korea, but unfortunately I don't think we can get uh, appliances now that are going to last that long anymore. So, I mean, this I don't think is the same Kenwood company that uh, used to make the Kenwood mixers in the old days. Or if it is, then it's probably been bought out by uh, some other company. And they just produce them now cheaply in China with the Kenwood name on them. I'm just plugging it into the wall. So, basically, this has a, um, a, d a small display on the top. It's nothing special, as I say, it's just a very, very small, I think it's a 20 litre when, um, in terms of uh, the size of the interior. It's got a grey interior that's just painted and a very small um, turntable. I can measure the diameter of the turntable, I will just uh, do that so that people know how big it is. This is um, 10 inches across, so it's uh, 255 millimetres uh, across this uh, plate is inside here so it's one of the smallest but not the smallest I think 17 litres are about the smallest you can get so basically it's a 700 watt I can't think whether it says that on the front or does it no it's an 800 watt actually it's just down there it's a category E and it has basically a, uh, a jog dial sort of um, setting knob here for setting the time and you've got um, a few sort of um, small programs on it but it's nothing really very special and I tend just to use it on um, I just preset the time and press start with it you've got a, uh, a microwave function here which basically when you press that it selects the, the power output percentage 
So you can have 30% power, 10% power, 100%, so that's full power. And then 80, and it goes round in a circle like that. But if you were going to just select the time, um, I think you just press start on that just to select it. And then you would select your time, like turning this dial down here, backwards and forwards, to the desired time. And then um, it goes backwards from 95 minutes and, and cycles backwards or it goes forwards. If um, you can set the clock on here, I just never bother setting the clock to be honest because a lot of the times I have it switched off at the plug so it, it loses the time setting when you turn it off at the plug. But if you were going to just use it from that screen and you just wanted maximum power then all you would do is you'd have to turn this knob backwards to 95 and then turn it forwards to the, the time of uh, in the amount of minutes and seconds that you wanted it to run for. Uh, now very often I always keep coming here and turn this uh, clockwise but unfortunately that's like for the auto program setting. I can't remember what they do, it's in the instruction book but they're like for cook, it's auto uh, programs for cooking like ready meals and and thingies, various different types of food so it's got a few automatic settings but it's not very explanatory having this basic screen. So I tend not to use those very often, I just use the, the normal the normal time on high for cooking uh, jacket potatoes or ready meals in. But um, I've had issues, I'm having issues with the the actual knob here. It doesn't seem to be very responsive now when you um, turn it round to try and select times. As I'm turning it up, it, you seem to have to turn it an awful lot to, to go through the time as if it's not very responsive anymore. And I do find that to be a little bit of a problem with it. Uh, again, I suppose it's because it's cheap Chinese, uh, Chinese bill quality, but you want a thing to be fit for purpose really and I can, I can see that going wrong before much longer and it probably won't be much good anymore the display itself seems to fade as the older it gets the, the dimmer this display gets as well so sometimes it's quite hard to see it um, it'll do your defrosting and this one's the clock and the preset so you can set your clock with it that's your stop and clear button and uh, that's your start button basically and if you just press that from the, this normal screen you just come to it and you press the start button once it would start on 30 seconds and every time you press that it would add 30 seconds onto the time so you, if you wanted in something for a couple of minutes you press that button four times or you turn that knob back and then forwards until you got see I'm turning the knob now and it's hardly doing anything on this screen so I find it quicker sometimes just to go backwards from 95 if I want seven or eight minutes on there. Um, the other issue I find with these type of microwaves is the amount of condensation they get inside. Now normally I would, when I'd finished cooking something I would leave the door open like this and turn it off at the plug so the light went off inside. But last night I cooked a jacket potato in here and forgot to leave the door open and as you can see it's still very very wet inside here. That's from yesterday so one of the biggest problems with this is that it doesn't dry out properly inside unless you leave the door open and I think you know when it, if you was to damage the inside or scrape some paint off it would go rusty quite quickly in there. If I remove the base plate here I mean there's there's no problems with it yet but sometimes these things do wear holes into the bottom of the paint when they're extended use but this one's okay at the moment and I, if it did I would say I could see rust setting in because as I say it doesn't tend to it doesn't tend to dry out very much in between uses so if you wanted a cheap microwave and you bought something like this I mean a lot of micros are very similar to this inside they just have different brand names on or slightly different control panels but they all basically seem to work the same way they have these tiny crevices inside but only a very small vent and it just doesn't dry out inside so you need to bear that in mind if you're going to buy a small microwave like this and as I say this this is a popular model, or was, a couple of years ago from Currys. Whether they still sell it now, I don't know. But I'm going to just stick a uh, potato in here now. I'm going to stick it on for eight minutes. So we'll just be able to hear it working. And um, so we do that. And it cooks the food really well, I must say. Uh, after four minutes, I'd turn that over. 
and then uh, it would finish cooking about seven minutes for one of those. So it's quite fast in what it does, it's just that it, uh, it just doesn't seem to dry out unless you leave it open. And of course leaving it open the bulbs on all the time so you have to keep turning it off at the power and then the clock loses its setting. So let's put the potato in and um, what we're doing we're going to set it for seven minutes on high so as it, it, it defaults to high automatically I would just take my dial back from 95 and we go all the way down it seems to be more responsive when you turn it backwards than forwards so we'd set it to seven minutes and then we would press our start button essentially so there we can see, just about see, you can't see very much to the door on these modern microwaves now but it's going round inside there very nicely and um, yeah so that would, that would be done quite soon, I'd turn it round halfway uh, yes the, the automatic programs are listed underneath, sorry about the state how dirty it is on there, I haven't realised that that was under there but when, on your automatic programs it will do an automatic reheat there's, there's, there's basically the, the settings that it will do so it's only a very simple basic microwave but if you wanted let's say just a simple basic one you didn't mind leaving the door open in between uses for it to dry out then I think this one would be uh, recommended enough if you wanted it for a few years you know I'd imagine it would last you three years before it probably failed with this uh, this dial here. It still works but it's just not very responsive. So you can hear the uh, potato hissing away nicely in there because it's, uh, it's quite a powerful little microwave for its size. So there you go. I would say if you wanted one go for it. If you get one for £50 they seem to be an okay microwave for the money. So um, that's my review there of the uh, little Kenwood Solo Microwave, the 20 litres, model number which I've given you earlier. Okay, thanks very much, I'll see you on the next review.